Right, hi guys, Luton here. So today, it's something a little bit different, and I wanted to just go over what element of a beginner's guide this is. Now, this was an operation we did a little while ago. You can see there's actually only five of us playing today. It's a very small team of me, Jocko, Theron, G, and Jimbo. And the reason I wanted to showcase this is because often, you know, when I'm talking about armor, or when anybody's talking about armor, what you tend to see are these big operations, like 20 people, 30 people, 40 people, or, or sometimes some, you know, more. Um, not for me recently, but sometimes you'll see other people's videos when they play on public servers. You might have 40 50 people in an operation and if you're new to armor that's not necessarily what armor is all about and also maybe you want to play with only just a few of your friends now there's another element here which is planning now very often we don't see that kind of planning element I often cut through to the guys engaging the guys moving in and you don't hear all of those elements now what you're gonna have today is us planning how we're going to approach each situation how we deal with each situation and then you know coming out the other side now these are very simple let me just say you know these are simple little side missions these are not big operations that we're handling together but these kind of small operations together with a couple of people can be absolutely as satisfying as doing a big operation because you can kind of plan and look you can always do these things quickly but that's not what armor to me is all about you can run in you can roll over ai you know you can meta ai like everybody knows this but that's not what armor is all about armor is a simulation and it's about kind of talking to your guys doing a little bit of logistics kind of moving around observing reconning going in deciding how you want to play it and you know there's a little bit of suspension of disbelief there's a little bit of using your imagination immersing yourself into the the situation that you're in that's kind of what armor is about that's what i take away from armor most of the time now this video today starts off with us doing these two small little operations but the next video which is going to come up and follow on from this part two is going to have some air support in terms of me running an a10 and communicating to the guys on the ground giving them support but this first stage is just a couple of side operations but if you're interested in playing a little bit more tactically with friends in armor if you're interested in how you go about planning how to approach a situation you'll hear us discuss that you'll hear us go through the kind of stuff we would normally talk about when we're deciding how we want to play something out and i think that'll be useful for people who are new to armor if you enjoy this guys as always drop me a like and tell me what you think in the comments it helps me out it helps the channel out and you're supporting me in the channel and everything that we do here thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time right, how far are we getting closer now i can get so stuck in town that's all right for me on this only when driving vehicles there That's the feature of the military right there, just nothing but prefab bases. Makes sense, you know, quick to set up. You can plan all the logistics easily. Oh yeah. Right, be a little careful now. Could be anything around here. So the task on this one is basically high ranking, op four, find and eliminate him. Slow it down a little bit here. Roger, keep a 50 meter pace on you. If you see any enemy, we're probably gonna have to light him up. All right, slow it down. Get us off the road to the right here. Yeah, just uh, let's just stop here. Yeah, the car coming behind. We're parking the right side. I am gonna go have a look on the top of the hill over here. Are we leaving the vehicles here? Uh, mm, just stay with the vehicles for now. Stay in the vehicle, uh, Joko. Yeah, stay on the vehicle. Alright, let's see what we can see. I got range binos. Yeah, that's right, I got binos as well. So, it should be somewhere to the northeast. We might have to move across the next one. Oh, hello. There's a uh, bunker and a research base down there. Not sure if that's what we're after. 
I think if you guys... Oh, yeah. I see it, I see it. You guys stay with the cars. I'm going to move a little northeast along this kind of ridge, uh, but stay with the cars. I'll radio through to you in a mo. I'm just going to try and get better eyes on. Oh, hello. Hold on, where were they? Yeah, it looks like it's uh, unoccupied, both the uh, bunker, uh, guard tower and the medical research facility. Yeah, I have a feeling, though. That's going to be it. Um, it seems like it's like what's the range on uh, targets? Like, is it like a hundred meter radius or something like that? What in terms of the military spawning or what? Oh, oh, hostiles, hostiles spotted RPG and three enemy infantry. Where? Near the uh, guard tower checkpoint. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. Oh, even more coming in. That's a yeah, large like control. A full control. Oh yeah. Ooh, damn. They just cool. keep coming out of the woodworks. Yeah, it's worrying. And more, uh, and more, They're, and they're more. not stopping. It's like Oompa Loompas are going on right now. <laughs> yeah, there are oh, a lot. There comes another one. Yeah, it's a full uh, combat element. Yeah, I'm going to try and... Uh, this is going to be difficult oh. to... Uh, this is going to be difficult to recon because it's down behind that freaking... What we really need to do is get I'm on the... Uh, at least 12 to 15 hostiles yeah, right now. I think what we need to do is what we need to do is come back away from here and then sort of come back around the ridge. So I think what we're going to do is come back up this road to the church and then we're going to drive the vehicles across the back side of this ridge to this point here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like okay. come around get the high ground on that hillside that's uh, across the way. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Okay, let's yeah. go back to the trucks. We just need some more information before we do anything, because otherwise it's going to be no use. Now what we saw was pretty solid. Uh, two full enemy squads patrolling the area. Yeah, and we really can't see what's on the other side of there. There could be <coughs> a BTR or some kind of enemy. You know, we could have an emplacement or multiple technicals or or nothing. But you know, we don't know. So. Uh, yep. Yeah. Get the high ground and get the uh, better fire support bench. That way we can. Uh, shoot our guns straight into it too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Jimbo, when we get up on top of this, sort of through the forest here, uh, make sure that we stay on the left, the west side, or the northwest side of, of this ridge so that we're not obviously skylining. Roger that. Uh, looks like civilian vehicle uh, engaged uh, the base. Yeah, he had engaged, maybe, well, who knows, maybe he had a grievance with them. I, I think he engaged in IED on the street. Yeah, that sounds more likely. Better him than us. Yeah, there was a secondary explosion. They won't be getting their sandwiches anymore. Nope, but you expect the enemy to be alert now instead of being relaxed. Absolutely. Do you want us to hold the vehicles in this little church here? No, uh, we can probably just keep going on. Just go through these trees here on the left side. Just uh, you know, be a bit cautious. Yeah, you can you can fit it through here. Or maybe not. <laughs> Taking branches to the face. Yeah, out. Yeah, just keep us on the left side. Left side. Don't go on the top. So obviously here, if we were to go up on top, uh, it would create a silhouette, so we don't want them to see us, so we're just going to stay on this back side here. Which is something a lot of our guys seem to regularly fail to do. <laughs> it's such a simple thing. Just trying to be careful we don't see anything here on the left through these trees. Alright, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. I don't think we really want to go any further than this with the vehicles, because we're going to start coming on the other side of this hilltop. Um, I think, again, just me and Theron, you guys stay here just for the now, and then uh, if we need, because if, if, if we can, we'll roll the vehicles up and get some fire on it. If not, we'll just have to go in ourselves. So me and Theron will check this out, and uh, you guys just hold here for now. 
Did you saw Jocko's. an Abbot vehicle? No, yeah, stay in the vehicle, uh, Joko. Uh, be ready to roll up where we want you to roll that vehicle up. Yeah, no, I mean, like, if you saw an Abbot vehicle. Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. we just we don't know yet, so that's why we're doing be cautious. We don't want to roll over here and just get hit straight away. I also didn't want us to go further forward here and just roll into a big full squad of infantry like down in these trees or something. I think it's actually a lot more fun sometimes playing uh, playing with these small groups of people like this. It's, it can be really good. Fuck's sake. This isn't helping us out. I, I see the uh, complex from here. Oh, yeah, I see it too, but we don't see anything else. I'm going to... Uh, yeah. The beach on the northeast looks clear though, I don't see anything down there. No patrols. Yeah, the beach, uh... yeah, get down on this one here, get prone. I'm crawling. Yeah, I've got some eyes on them here in the base. What do we got? Quite a few. Oh, we got a full research, research facility out there. Holy crap. Yeah, that's more than this I thought. Is gonna, this is going to be a tough cookie. We should have brought some mortars. Yeah. He's no doubt probably going to be inside the dome or one of the research buildings. But uh, look at that squad down there. There's a lot of, lot of guys on that. Should we send uh, Joko back and get this, like a mortar, crew, uh, mortar system? No, no. Uh, we can probably handle it, but... We got like two, possibly three full squads down there. And there's yeah. Of us. Yeah, we can handle it, man. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna uh, probably just have to. We're gonna have to probably leave one guy up here with the 50 cal and just waylay into them yeah. while the rest of us move up. Well, 50 what we're gonna reach it. Yeah. What we really need to do is get it. Basically, sort of this. Well, almost actually, where we had the previous mark. We're gonna want to keep yeah. it basically about here in the trees. I think we can set it up here. The range is uh, 550 meters. That's going to be pushing it for those 8Ks. No, no, definitely. They've got some patrols on the uh, northeast side of the H barriers. I see that as well. Um, yeah. So, uh, so we can we can we can set the 50 cal like right here on the top of this ridge line, and they can yep. relay in while we move up on foot. Well, I think we don't need to engage them until we we're ready. I mean. Well, well, we, we can we we can patrol down like see this ridge just to our left like here, uh, I mean we can get almost to the beach. Uh, in fact, actually, you see where the beach is. I mean, obviously we don't want to be just crossing the open ground or anything. But if we if we move the way if we move down to the beach but stick on this forest line, yeah, like the edge of the forest, we should be able to use that as cover to put some engage in. And then basically, if the if the jeep is here with the 50 cal, he can be engaging, engaging, and then he can either just bail if he takes a lot of fire, or, you know, back it up and come down, or whatever. Um, I mean, to be fair, we can even probably drive one of the jeeps. We could even drive one of the jeeps sort of around from where we are, like, down through here, and ditch it maybe, like, right there, something like that. Mm, no, I say where you have the overwatch is probably the better option, uh, higher... Well, we got the higher ground right here because the, if you look at that Overwatch over there, it's not that much higher. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I don't. I'm worried if he'll be able to see over the T walls from that position. I know. I meant oh, more just dear. like we li we leave this position definitely with the Overwatch, but the other one, we, what I'm saying is we can just drive the jeep down there rather than having to run mm -hmm. all the way back up here. Like if we've got to get oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we'll, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We leave the 50 cal up here with the one gunner, and that way he can fire into it when we get it ready to position. Yes. And then the rest of us drive down there and just yep. get ready to just bounce in. Much better. I'm just so confused with the eagle. So You're confused. My head. Yeah. Why? Is it on the wrong side? <laughs> <laughs> I did that when I was in the U.S. Literally. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they, we were we were going somewhere and oh shit, we were going somewhere and uh, he's like, oh yeah, just you can get in the front. So I went, I walked around to the passenger side and of course it's the driver's side and I felt like an idiot. And I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, I drove this vehicle and I thought like 
Ja, okay, Rico. Ja, und es ist auf der rechten Seite, es ist der Pond. Auf der rechten Seite ist die Pondzeit. Und dann laufen sie auf der Shadow's yeah. saying that he would have like cleared this base already by now, but the the point is is like it's not always about just like uh, how fast you yeah. can do it. It's about the fun of uh, planning. I actually think we can move up a bit closer because we were not sure yeah, until we got down here. Yeah, we're still behind cover. Well, we weren't sure how much cover we we're going to have from down here. We couldn't see, so I think we can move up here. Like how we hit. Yeah, we got okay. the tunnel. Jimbo, are you standing by to engage as well? Uh, just getting into the correct position. Range is around 560 meters to the base from on top of that hill, so like 550, uh, 600 meters. Roger that. Or not. We didn't see any heavy vehicles. Okay. Have I what? Is that why it would be? I mean, like if there was a heavy vehicle in the base or around the base. No, no, we didn't see anything. It's just like three, yeah. four squads of infantry. We got like a platoon force okay. down there. Right, I'm wondering if we how well we can get onto this. We should definitely get over here and then we can just try and try and position and this is gonna Alright guys get ready because it's gonna get real really fast and uh we're gonna have to bail out of this thing. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah I see the base, I see the base there. Should, I think we should stop now. Yeah, yeah should, I'm I'm gonna just get behind these rocks so we've got some cover. Alright. Yeah, it was a shot. Go bail, shot go go go, bail, bail, bail. Go for Jimbo. Engage, engage, engage. Alright, line him up. Your shots are good on target. Yeah, I got some grenades in on it. Oh, my red short uh, smoke hit a tree branch. Good job. Are you guys in the base yet? Negative, we're kind of pinned in the forest up on the hill. Uh... Watch that, maybe they would get to the door to shoot by mistake. Copy, we'll form you. Here, here. Spike, they're firing at us. East side is clear. Shit, okay. I can't take care of one that was just pressing us. They're on the far southeast side. Up by the security gate. Heavy vehicle coming in along the road. I think that's the officer. I got him. I got him. Let's get out of him. Okay, we're spawned back. We need my gun. Is a vehicle chasing you along the road, guys? Copy, what copy. Vehicle, what vehicle? Uh, civilian vehicle, civilian vehicle. Yeah. We're good to go. We're good to go. No, 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 no. We are not. Now we are. Hi, All on board. Go, go, go. go. Jimbo, fall back to the first waypoint. Hey guys, that was an IFV. That's 20 millimeter. Being engaged. Yeah. Fall back. Push to the uh, push to the northwest, and then not. Oh, shit. Vehicle's toast. Vehicle's toast. You were, okay. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. We are. I know. We're coming in to pick you up. They're trying to reach us at the RV point where we uh, originally uh, broke off at. Much of that. Take a left. Yep. 
Oh, where is that IFB? It must have come up behind and off to the south, southwest. Not sure. Basically, where I'm driving, I guess. <laughs> no, I think it came. It might have been on the front side of the base. We didn't see it, so it might have come up the hill or something. I don't know. Heading to our original hold location. Let's just hold on. We're in this little gully here. Let's just do a little map check. Yeah, we can pick him up at the church. We'll get you at the church, dude. <coughs> can you map read me to the Watch church? That. I think it's roughly this way. Yeah, that was good. That was nicely done. Yeah, I, I like those kind of little engagements, and it, it's. I always think that's the best thing with armor. It's not not always just like these prolonged engagements, but sort of like you're kind of hit and run. Like you just sort of, uh, you know, you spend a little while figuring out like the best way to hit it. Bang, you hit it, and then it's job done. I mean, we were a bit lucky there. That that officer, he was lying out in the middle, and I recognised him because he had the red hat on. Damn you, trees. Jogo, can you map read me to this church? What's your position on the church? Uh, currently holding just yeah, inside the doorway. Copy, we're, going, we're, we're on our the, way. We're going the right way, are we? Yep. I'm not looking at my map or anything, so... A little more to the right. When you can. Yeah, good, right, right there. Alright, fine. Straight up. That's true, the, the officer was wearing a special beret because he took like three shots to the head, it's true. <laughs> just straight line. Beret. Church then. Yeah, the left. yeah, it must be around the corner here. This road. Yeah, this yeah. road here. Lost the other truck, Jim, right? Uh, Ready? There should be horses yeah, in the back. Let's see if you can open up any seats on this. Ah, oh, damn it. Just removing camo, maybe that's off me getting in. Yeah. yeah, just remove the camo. How do we do that? Jacko. Jacko's got to do it. No, we, uh, we have four, actually, I think. Ready? Is this a four man vehicle? Yes. Okay, you know what? You guys go drive off to the chopper, and I'll wait here, and then uh, come yeah, back. Let's go, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, run. yeah, we'll secure that chopper. Jim, we'll stick with me. Hey, should I stick with them? The no, 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 it's fine. No, because no, if we're the Morton, no, we you, don't you get three that, go uh, out there and get the chopper, and then you come back yeah. and pick us up. Right, let's just do. Watch out. Got the hostile I'll pray to the Holy Father. Okay, where are we got going? Basically, you guys need to map read me to the chopper then. Oh yeah, you mean that path? Yeah. I'm just kind of vaguely heading in this direction. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm trying to get to the street back. Yeah, I'm going just this way. Yeah, uh, I think when you're... Shit! Where's that from? Yeah. Is that you guys getting engaged? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the from six. Behind us. Is it, is it Guys, look out there. I think the enemy forces are heading towards you. Hey, where's this chopper? It must be down through here, right? Uh, yeah, we're gonna bug out of this position and start moving uh, to the uh, northwest. Could also just stay on this road too. Yeah. That left. Uh, yeah, left. Left, left, right. left one of the roads. Okay. Right. Hard to pull off for you down the road. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, we got that chopper. up. We go back and pick him up. <laughs> well, that guy Shadow is like, I'm totally going to bed, that's why I can't play continuously. He's just like, watch the entire mission. <laughs> yeah, I think he's maybe tired of playing. Yeah, I get it. That's why it's not a good idea to do like five hours of a mission 
before you do a mission night. <laughs> hey guys, is there a po possible green fourth force in the AO? Not sure. Not sure about that. Yeah, because it looks like they're fighting the Russians. They're kind of shooting at us and the Russians. It's, it's, yeah, they oh yeah, they are rebels. Possible. These are rebels. Yes, yes, you, uh, we got just a rebel attack on us. Alright, stay here. Let me go check this out. Investigate this. Roger, do not shoot the rebels. I think the rebels are enemy. Oh, the rebels are enemy? Okay. Well, right now they're more focused on the, uh, Russians, so we're just gonna leave it be. No engine, no ammo. This thing's fucked. Uh, I'm not sure what hell need to go for here. We've got a little bird. Uh, who are? Uh, no. Yes, we do. Is it? Is it transport? Yes. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's go. Let's go. Jock, are you on? Yeah, I'm on. Okay, yeah, you're gonna have to, uh... You're gonna have to radio me where we're going. Uh... Or, like, you're gonna have to make contact with them and find out what the deal is. Yeah, I think you should. Wait, there's no things here? What's up? Oh, wait, are we alone? What? No. no? G is on board, no. right? I saw him in the yeah, back. Yeah, he's on the... Yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, fine. Right, I need to be a little bit careful because uh, I've got no kind of like line of sight for uh, the ground. So we're going to have to find them and pick them up really quick. Yeah, yeah. Is this the modded uh, little bird? Can I smash this down a bit? Well, I've got to pick them up. Uh, it's the cup one, actually. Yeah. So will it take a hit if I drop it on the floor? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, God. Never tried the cup one with, uh, so, right, okay. Yeah. Right, we need to uh, find where they are. I know where they are, yeah. but yeah, they're currently, I think, fleeing to the... To the west? Fields. Uh, no, to the north, the yeah, northwest. On oh, now, I think they're... It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, serious training, man. Yeah, we're coming to you now, we're coming to you. We got you back on radio. Sniper says it can land Roger, a little hard uh, in vanilla. Roger, okay. field site is a no-go. Enemy rebel hostile force is strong in the area. We are to the northwest of the village. Yeah, can okay, you have you got any smoke to drop? Okay, we're coming up quick on your position. Shall I get under these cables? Sorry, I'm currently trying to do two things at once. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you guys need to map read. I can't be flying this low and checking my map. Yeah, thank you. We are dead west of the uh, prefab complex. Right. Tell us when you see us. We're in those trees on the hill up there, to the. Uh, I hear you. Northwest. Alright, I copy that. There, yeah, that's a helicopter. I see it. I see it. We got it. We got it. G, keep it. You guys keep your eyes open for any guys on the ground. We might have to put some uh, cover yeah. fire when we come in and pick it up. We're coming down now. Now. Copy. Let's sniper. Go, go, go! Alright. Good job. That's the reason why I want, uh, wanted just orange and purple smokes to be signal LZs, you know? Yeah, for sure. Anyway, good job. Let's get back to base and plan the next one up. 
Oh yeah, yeah, Jocko's already planning it out for us. I tripped up. Uh, but I think we maybe first want to delete my little... Or, we can't uh, the second point. Uh, uh, since I'm so... So versed in the lore of Halo, I constantly keep getting messages from the devs making on that Halo mod, like, yo, what's lore friendly on this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I've literally never played that game. It's a good game, story-wise. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Out. I'm out. I'm out. Out. Move into the uh, west. Just going out this tower on the hill. Alright, we've got a little ways to go here. I can't see anything to the tower in the north. I'll sweep around the west side and then come back towards the north. You guys can move up towards that tower if you want. I say we, I say we kind of stick with the group on this one. We're just a small element. It's not good to split up. It's okay. I, I think we only. I, I doubt we're going to have any uh, encounter. I tell you what, though, Jocko, do you, uh, Jocko, you can fly, right? No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, look. Look. All right. Here, here's. Okay. Look. You. Um. You carry. Ra Wait. Are you being sarcastic? I can, I can fly. fly, just let me uh, say, hook yeah. up my 360, I mean Xbox No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, no, no, I'm, don't I'm do that. I'm a crash pilot, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Let me fly, I crash the helicopter somewhere, definitely. Was... No, alright, okay, well, you... <laughs> I'll get it then. Right, look, you guys just, here's what I want you to do, alright, just sweep around to that building, okay? Just do that. I will get the heli and move it to the camp, because we're pretty certain that there's nothing in the camp, so I'm just going to move it up there, and then that way... Uh, if we want to, I'll try and hover it in real steady so that we don't break line of sight for too long. Uh, and then hopefully, if we do have to, you know, we'll we'll try to then move like. Uh, let me just put a dot on this. What we will then try to do is basically bound our way in, either by going like ping ping and then in. Yeah. That's that's pretty much my plan. And then on the way back, we can come down the valley and just straight like that. Yeah. So. Like that. That's basically my plan. So we go in on the left, back on the right, and I'll try and get the heli in the base so that we've got an extract really quick. Okay, so you guys go on with that and I'll move the heli. Right. So let's get back and get this sorted. Right, what I really want to do with this is I don't want to like show my position too long. I don't know how much space there's going to be. I'm probably going to have to get it trying to in the middle. I basically want to get it over there without really showing myself over the hill too much, so I need to be a little cautious. But, uh, I mean, arguably, I, I, I could just sit this thing on the... North if get over that compound. I could just sit it on the back side Say of this again. base. Gonna we'll see. I'm going to have a little look at that it. Compound. Copy. I'm going to sort of try and have a little look here. The tower is, it might be a bit of a pain for me to actually insert this in here. Might be good enough to just get it on the back side of the compound. But let's just try and have a little look. How much space we got here. Oh, there is actually, I could probably just get it there, like on the left of this base. Yeah, fuck that. But what I will do is I think I should have enough space to just sit this thing in here. Some, uh, there's a tower with some cabling just to my left hand side. Right, here we go. I'm just going to put it right here. Done. Okay, engine off quickly. I'm in position. Copy, we're about... We're reaching the bend now. We've probably got... Oh gosh, we got a shit long way to go. I don't even know why I'm crouch walking. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, I'm in a good overwatch position right here. Very good, actually, so just come to me. Copy, we're moving. Right, so let's have a look around. I don't see anything. Looks uh, clear northwest.
we've got a good position right here. Don't see anything northeast. So where we're looking at is basically the power plant here, right there. Yeah, we're just following the black line for right now. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'm looking at the base. I've got a good overwatch, but I don't see any activity, which is worrying. I've got eyes on one enemy on the left side of the large tower. The solar tower. Yeah, large solar tower. Just one on you see on the ground, right? Yeah. Well, I'm looking at the east and the north side. I see no patrols. I see no infantry. Okay, we've got two options. I regroup with you and we all move in. Or I stay up here and I provide you some intel uh, from this position. Because I've got quite good overwatch. Oh, I see that guy now. Yeah, I see there's like one or two patrolling around. Yeah, stay up there and all that stuff. I've just reached the red dot on the map. Yeah, okay. I'll provide overwatch on this. You guys move in. And then if I need to, uh, I can bring that heli in real quick. Gotcha. Right, so the guy's going to move in. When you've got a really good overwatch position like this, it they makes a lot of sense to stay this here. black line going all the way around. I am not liking it. <laughs> that was me, because uh, we were not sure uh, how much we were facing at the time. But uh, it's all good. Yeah, I'm, I'm making a call and going straight in. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you can. Uh, we weren't sure like what we were facing originally, so... I, w I wasn't sure how good of a line of sight we we're going to have across here, so you can probably go straight in. Wait for everyone to group up there. You guys definitely need to go in together. I'll go to this next little compound. Yeah, I'll remove that line. Yeah, I'll remove that line and the exit line. I'll set you guys waypoints to move in on so that I can... Uh, Estimate what I think will be the best route for you guys to go in. Well, how many people did you see? There. Just two, right? Well, we see two, but we're not entirely sure. Uh, from what I can see up here, all I've seen is two, but there could be some stationary guards in and around that solar plant itself. We don't know. And we could end up with a bit of a rebel backlash like we had before as well, so it's best to be in a solid position. I, go, I say we go in with talking guns. No, no, I think so, for sure. Yeah. I would just go straight in there and uh, yeah, see what you can do. It's definitely yeah, like right below the solar tower, though, right? I mean, either that or I come in with you guys and we don't worry about the heli. Or we take the heli and we fucking land it right in there and just light them up. I say we do that. Take the heli, hit helo in and just freaking SS it. SF it. Okay. Ballsy, but it might be more fun. Do it Ghost Recon style, you know? Yeah, I reckon. Jimbo, come back up here. Watch that. Yeah, get the guys. We got four people, so that's like two guns either side. Where are we going to try to land, though? Do we have eyes on any enemies yet? Oh, there they are. Look, see the west side of the tower? Yeah, we've only seen like one or two. Our plan is to take the heli, just get in there and uh, put, it, put you guys on the boards. Just land on the west side of that tower. Looks like my best landing site. And uh, we'll just try and fuck them up as we come in. I don't know. If they're on the west side, I said we land at the east side of the facility and just move on through. Oh, I thought you wanted to do like a full-on, like, you know, literally you, land nah. in combat. I have never been able to hit anything out of those helicopters while moving. And... And the only person I can trust on is the LMG that probably hit something. <laughs> okay, but if we're going to do that kind of insert, then I reckon what I will do is I'll stay in the air. I'll drop you guys on. You can get in, secure it, and then come back. I'll pick you up. Yeah, yeah that, that sounds good. Location. We've got a building to the left side to provide some temporary cover. 
Well, I'm, think, I'm thinking the uh, east side of the facility near where all those conics are. We'll land at the uh, checkpoint there, roll through, uh, talking guns, clear the objective, get the intel, and then we'll meet up at the west side of the facility and get extracted and head back home. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good plan. Let's get to the heli. <laughs> Sniper in the chat. I've been playing Ghost Recon Wildlands all day, so this way. feels like it. Blocking the pilot. You too? I too. Yeah, we should definitely call it. Recommend we form a firepower on the left hand side. Armor Wildlands. Jesus, no thanks. <laughs> Wildlands is pretty fun as long as you got yourself a group of four to play. Yeah, I'm semi tempted to get it actually. Yeah, you definitely need to play with friends. Alright, yeah, stand by. by yourself stand by, stand by. Stand by, let's clear it up. Okay, ready to go. Right, when I touch down, you got like two seconds to get off. Fucking power cable right here. I've come in too high as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go over right. those things. Yeah, hold on, I know, I know. I'm gonna have to come in. No, no, no. I'm just gonna. It's alright, it's alright, you're fine. You've got cover here. Here's good, here's good. Right, shots coming in, stand by. Take a shot, take a shot. Oh, fuck. Get it on the ground, I'll see. Go, go, go! I'm out. All out. I'm gonna try and get under these cables to get out. I'm gonna watch the rear here, guys. Okay, reloading. That was not a smooth landing. I came in way too high Maybe early on, and it meant I couldn't control myself to put it down. Okay, let's try and patch up. Just keep laying down the fire. We're gonna move past you, J uh, Draco. Just keep laying down the fire, moving in. No, it wasn't that shadow. I, I would I'd need to attend a flight school if I didn't know what I did okay, wrong, on. but I know exactly what I did wrong. I came in just way too high, and then I couldn't control it to get down. You look clear yeah. from up here. Okay. Enemy clear. Yeah, no eyes on. Three tangles down, one. four up. What are you shooting at? Doing contact inside the tower. Okay, uh, Jeho Coco, uh, just keep uh, looking at the, uh, checking out these bodies, see if there's any intel in them. We're getting gunshots southwest. Yeah, it's shots at me. I'm landing, I'm landing. Okay, I'm going up the tower, see what we get up there. Because none of these bodies got the intel, and we're hearing bot uh, sounds inside the tower. Yeah, we got more rebels coming in on us. Oh snap, there are two of them up there. I am going back down the stairs. Oh, he's coming up the stairs. Somebody get to shoot this dude that's coming down the stairs with me. Somebody shoot this asshole. Where is he? Is he at the top Thank or the you. middle? <laughs> We're supposed to be ambushing someone at this location, guys. Are there more in the tower still? There's one more up there. He has RPG. Uh, the sky, I think, Does he? I, I think you have a map. Look up if you can take the map. Try to uh, take the map. I'm coming up the broken building. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get out of here. LT, where you land that bird? Up, uh, see it. Yep, north side, north side. Let's go. Yeah, coming out of the south, we should have some cover to get out of here. Let's get back to base. Popping smoke for our ex extraction. Let's get on and go, go, go. Jim, go on. All up. All up. All up. Yeah, that 
dude just started chasing me down the stairs and I was in the, the ladder. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> nice, nice, hold well on. I'm getting on the command. I'll get the commander seat. Hold on. Right. I'm gonna sit in the back and get this UAV going. Alright, hold on. Before we do anything, though, let's uh, let's make a little plan. There's not a lot of. You you want me to get the UAV up in the air at least so that way it's yeah. up in the air. Yes, please. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. that a good idea with the UAV? <laughs> yes. So at least we have something bigger in support. <laughs> okay, so look, we're gonna actually come at this. Hmm. Wouldn't advise coming in from the north along the main road because it's very exposed. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we'll just make our way. I'll put some markers down to make it nice and easy to get there. Don't know if you can see the pointer I'm putting out. Okay, it's taxiing off now. Right. What I'm gonna do is I think what I want us to do is to take the jeeps through this valley. To there, basically. Yeah. I think that'll be a good position for us to get to, because that will give us, you know, we don't want, we don't, we don't, yeah, we don't even want to go down that road that takes between that valley. We don't even want to go there, like this area. We don't want to be on that. We can come off before we even come around that corner, and then we can get in behind this hill. Then we can do again, like, well, we have the UAV up, so we can plan. Let's just get to there, and then we can plan off the UAV. So let's rock and roll. Yeah, maybe you also can spot us a little bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Also, the, you know, the video in your one video over the UK DLC, as you said, like, uh, the hardest yeah. not showing up, they're already... You guys don't have a gunner. It was, like, two days later. Oh, uh, really? Uh, Fucking typical. Yeah, two days later, there was, like, an... Yeah, the Jeep doesn't have a gunner. ...on the death range and change logs there. Uh, hold up, like we need to get ammo for this. Oh, yep, I'm picking up. I'm picking up vehicle signatures. Uh, just lots. work it out as you go. Do, how much ammo do we have for the actual uh, AT? Okay, guys, I am Five seeing. Total. I'm seeing okay. BMPs, uh, AA turret uh, technicals, and a few uh, just regular vehicles. There's a ton of vehicles down there. There's like a freaking. At least a platoon. I so throw maybe when you have like the drone up there uh, and we can get intel, so you maybe want to get the 50 call. Sorry. So now the vehicle is inside the city or on the east or west side? They are inside and, and all around. Fuck them on the map. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, start. Uh, I'm gonna bring the UAV closer to try to see if I can get myself better view on it. Okay. I, also took a laser I can't on, hear you. Uh, direct chat, Darren. So that we can use the laser guided missiles. I think you have laser guided missiles on that thing. As far as I know. It depends which one he's got. He's got. He'll either have GPUs or AGM. AG, uh, ATGM. Oh, it's modded. Yeah, ATGM. Yep. Oh. So he should be able to manually control and fuck up those vehicles so for us. we're not following the marked path? Yeah, should be. Uh, yeah, Jocko's driving. Because we're chatting. Uh, Jocko, take a left coming up here. Yeah, it's fine, just uh, follow us. This mist is gonna... Lift. This we mist is gonna back. make things interesting. Gonna make things interesting? Mm, the mist. I mean, I it's fog. light fog, yeah. Yeah, well, oh, light okay. fog Light fog is mist. Sorry. <laughs> I am counting at least... Learning English with LT. Eight vehicles right now. Missed your turn in. Yeah, we did miss it. Turn left, left. 
<laughs> we missed the turn. Did did we missed the turning badly? Stop stop stop. Oh wait. Left oh, left. Yep. I go back would be best best oh. to go back, not off road. Hey, Sorry. Turn around fault. turn around. Don't go off road. Just follow the road back. Lock the laser onto a target again. At T. Okay, T. Left control T when it's on the target. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Watch it, in, uh, sieve, sieve up ahead. Take a right. No, no, careful. Somehow I don't know if he's going to be hostile or something. Doing a nose dive. You must have told it to. Uh, you might have told it to. Did, did you when you told it? Did you told it to like, ho like hold fire or no fire on its position? Otherwise, it might be trying to that actively engage. Hard to see though. I don't know where we're going on the road now. Have you got your GPS yeah. even open, Jocko? <laughs> yeah, I, I see. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I didn't stop the yeah. So I want to make sure you haven't set it to, like, you know, search and destroy, or it'll start trying to light shit up itself. That's No, why no, you... it's, on, it's on loiter. It's on loiter. Right, is it? No, no, yeah, you set it to loiter, but then you have to set its behavior. So you set it to, like, hold fire or whatever, otherwise it might default, start trying to engage stuff itself. That's why it might have nosedived. Yeah, it... Want to get up your left? Yeah, left. Now. Yeah, now. Watch the wall. What do you think? Which, which should I prioritize targets on and knocking out? Well, the heavy vehicles, probably the BMPs or whatever. But um, wait until we're in position before we do that. Ah, uh, trees. Left, left. Yeah, oh, we're good. I'm seeing T55s. Left, 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 left. Yeah. I'm, I'm driving right. next time. Left, left. Look, wait, look at your map. You need to go left. There you go. Oh yeah. shit, look at the drone, he's way too low. Okay, you're way too low. Hit anything you can, uh, Theron. I don't know why it's low. I Come haven't set it at uh, 2,000 here, meters. At 2,000 feet. It, it was probably its behavior, like I say. It, it probably, it's defaulted to trying to engage stuff. The drones are really finicky. Okay, I'm driving it out of the AO, and I'm gonna uh, reset its coordinates. Yeah, it's pretty lucky it didn't get shot down. Take a right, right. And that is wait, I need to. Yeah, now we're yet? now we're going into the area. Going into the area now. Heads up. Watch that. It's on. Yes. No, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I'm still driving. This is not done because of great slope. Right. Keep going forward past the point. To the base of this hill. Okay, I think I reset it, so it should be good now. I set it out on a yeah, keep going up. loiter uh, diameter. Keep going up. Jocko, keep going up. Go up to that next set of trees. Yeah, keep going up. You can follow us on, Jimbo, just to this next group of trees here. Jeez, my driver, I'm the gunner. Alright, stop, stop. Stop here, don't break the uh, hill crest. I'm gonna get out and have a look. Yeah, I see groups of enemy that look pissed off already. This is gonna be twice as hard because of this fog. It's like literally right where we don't want it to be. <laughs> see that house down there, look. See that house, look, look at them. They're like fully aware now because of that drone. This is why drones are always a bit like, yeah. Oh, shit. oh yeah, fuck. There's a vehicle coming in. Guys, heads up. Vehicle off to the east. It's moving fast. Did you see that thing? There's a vehicle off to the east. I don't know what that was. Didn't yeah, have a chance to see it. it. Looked like Jesus, it. I forgot the name. Yeah, small vehicle with uh, men. Look out. Just a technical. Yeah, the technical. Yeah, yeah. It is getting dark as well. We could wait, aka accelerate time until the conditions are more favourable. I don't know. This probably favours us pretty heavily right now. Or we could just let the drone start lighting stuff up and create a bit of confusion for them. There's a big group of patrol moving on that road there to the northeast. Wait, where are we? We've got that construction building right there. The 
Uh, it's very difficult to position that. There's a ton of stuff we can't see as well because... Uh, but I feel like they're moving kind of around the, the ridge line. Theron, can you, uh, Theron, can you uh, pick up a laser death target? Uh, new yeah, target, new target. Let me, uh, let me get on to the yeah, turret controls. Uh, APC, you mean? Yeah, APC is on 6-0. Uh, no, he's gone. He's gone out of line of sight. He's yeah. moving. Uh, he's moving south. Moving south. He's coming towards us. He's on the. Yeah, yeah you see it coming yeah, down here. Oopsies. Lock it. Get it lit. This launch is going to be no use soon because no night vision on it. Saron, do you see the laser? Code Hold one, up, one, one, one. Like two. For fuck's sake, they're saying the attack uh, tr uh, truck. I gotta go out of position here. <clears throat> I see your laser. I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna try locking on now. Yeah, yeah. no. Wait, wait. Before you fire, I need to give you clearance because I currently cannot see them. Wait, he's gonna go out. Of, he's gonna go around the corner in a minute. Yeah, your laser's yeah. dancing all over the place. Yeah, that's me. Sorry, I'm currently trying to keep up with the vehicles. It. They are moving. We lost it. Yeah, we're gonna lose it. They're on a very, very fast patrol. This is gonna be bloody hard. Uh, I, I see the target that you were trying to designate, though. I'm gonna lock on now. And there's another one. I have no one uh, targeted. That's not currently going to be slow. I'd be. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Vodnik. Yeah, go and hit it. Yeah, we got I do it not lit. see the laser. I see it now. I see it now. Hit it. Hit it. Come on, before it. Hurry, hurry. Hit it now, hit it now, we're gonna lose it. Come on. Oh, he's, he's turning he's around. Away, Let's I see if that works. I don't think it works, so I'm gonna uh, have to fly out and come back in. Fuck's sake. I have the target locked, so I can, uh, I can fly out and come back in to take it. He's lost the reel. Yeah. Right. Oh shit, what's this? Oh, it's another Vodnik. Couple of technicals around this area. Uh, Jimbo and IG, stand by. I mean, really, what we need to do is clear this. Oh, that need... is not the symbol Vodnik. That... Oh no, okay, that's the symbol Vodnik too. Yeah, I thought like it was right. a heavy one. We need to clear that area first that I've marked before we move in. Yeah. We need to clear this side and then just we're, we're gonna just have to deal with it as it comes, really. We s wow, oh, by damn. the way, it's getting dark. Yeah, I know, I can see that. I don't know why it's not locking on. I got a full lock on and it's just not shooting. Yeah, don't worry about it, dude. Are you no stirring? No. <laughs> oh, that one hit, yeah. but it's still up. Yeah, that's it. Alright, look, let's go back to base. We This is definitely the right way to come in, but we either need one air support up, or we need, uh, you know, take a different vehicle, I think. Because I, we could try and fight our way in, but with this amount of... I was hoping there was going to be, like, a lot of infantry, but it's the sheer amount of, um, of vehicles that's going to be the issue. So at the end of this first video of planning and engaging operations with a small team of people, one of the things that's really important to take away is this section right here at the end, where we have a look at our target, we realise that actually we're outmatched, they've got too many uh, armoured vehicles, they've got too many technicals, there's probably a lot of infantry we can't even see, going in blind and just hoping for the best on a mission which is not timed on a mission which has no extremely pertinent objective for us is just unwise. We could try to bowl in there, we could just see what happens, but the chances are we might deal a little bit of damage before we all get wiped out. And depending on how you're trying to play, if you're playing a kind of arcadey whatever kind of way and you don't mind going in again and again and again and again, but you know really the, the tension and the good planning comes from trying to stay alive and trying to do everything right the first time. And what we decided right here was we've had a little look, we've had a little recon, we've decided that what we have available to us right now is just not enough. We don't have enough fire, uh, we don't have enough sort of uh, utilities available to us. 
So our decision is to basically pull out, come back to base, we're going to get some air support, we're going to get the guys equipped with what they need to come back and tackle the job. And you know, this is exactly the kind of decision that's really important to make in armour, because just running in and just hoping for the best is not really the way to play it. You know, there's going to be missions which are timed, there's going to be missions where you literally do have to just go in and get on with it and hope for the best, or, you know, if there was a, if there was a timed element there where we didn't have the ability to kind of pull back and go and get what we needed to, then, you know, we'd have to sort of decide okay maybe we want to stealth in maybe we're going to try and avoid those vehicles but that's not what we're doing on this objective on this objective we've got to clear this site and you know take control of the situation there so in the next video guys you're going to see when we have that air support up and you'll see me uh, striking ground targets with the a10 in coordination with the guys on the ground who are going to be moving into clear and then we'll move on from that element that stage where we come back in the morning time to clear the site fully and sweep through the town that's coming up in part two guys thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one